What was it about this show or the script or the reality that really attracted you to the project? I think the original journalism that Chris Gofford did from the LA Times was so well done and fascinating. The fact that Deborah and the other people involved in the story were so forthcoming with what happened and their own ex life experiences. I thought that it, it, it's such a well-wrought story and when the podcast came out, um, I had heard, I hadn't even listened to it, but I'd heard about it from so many people who were obsessed with it. So I could already tell that there was something about the story that was getting into the zeitgeist and that was pulling people in and, and, and really like getting, getting at their core. And those are always the stories that I love to do the most. Not everybody's honest about this happening to them, but it happens a lot. The reason I think that Deborah decided to, to tell her story and the family did was because they she doesn't want this happening to people you know and she's a really success, successful self-made woman if you look at her on paper there's no reason that this should have happened to her and to her family and yet it did i think there was a really great generosity in her to 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 tell this story and i think it was so that other people could could really get some of the warning signs. The content that we're that we're having access to is shifting, and um, I mean, I'm I'm pretty old school, so you know, I'm still like I'm going to read a book. But I also really understand that people are 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 able to use these new types of media to do great storytelling. Let's talk about your, the fact with your quite old school reading books and stuff like that rather than social media. Did you do a little bit of delving into the world of, of online stuff as part of your research? You know, I didn't actually do that much research into just online, you, you know, online dishonesty. Um, probably because I didn't feel like that is something that I necessarily, I was more interested for me and what I was trying to play. I was really more interested in and researching Deborah and and trying to know her inside and out. A lot of our storytelling doesn't come from a place of having a deep understanding of, um, you know, online dishonesty. So I that to me wasn't the most important element. It was more important to me to try to understand her psychology, um, where she comes from, who she is, um, and reasoning behind some of the choices that she made. Let's talk about the convos uh, that you had with the real people involved in this. The conversations have been wonderful for me, incredibly helpful. Deborah and Tara, her daughter in particular, have been really um, helpful and forthcoming. And Deborah has really, you know, she's been a partner to me. I mean, I w some days I'm shooting a scene and I'm not quite understanding. You know, there's there's stuff that I I, I don't I'm like, I want to have a better understanding of why she did what she did in that moment, and I'll just call her up, and she is so she'll always answer, and she'll, she'll talk it through with me. She's also been so sweet to me because she's been you know she said I'm honored to have you play me. She keeps you know she's always like I'm honored to have you. I'm like you're so sweet. I'm like and I want to do you justice. What do you hope people learn from the show overall? Because there's there's lots of lessons to be learned. There are lots of lessons to be learned. There are two sides to it. I mean, to me one of the things that uh, is so so impactful about the show is what, the idea of a con man and how easy it is to be conned by a con man. And I think in the culture right now, we're we're a little bit in a crisis of honesty in the culture right now and our values are a little shaken up because it seems that w there's a lot of conversation about the truth and what the truth is and in my lifetime I've never known that the, the truth was something that could really be a questionable thing. In that kind of environment a con man is particularly uh, you know is, is in a particularly good position to make his move. The other thing to me that I um, hope that people and particularly women in this Me Too movement will see is a real exploration into um, how we as women sometimes create our ideas of who we're supposed to be. For me the idea of playing Deborah in this in this story was trying to unpack some of why she made the choices she made, who she thought she was supposed to be as a woman, as a woman to this man, um, and as a woman in the culture. And so I hope that maybe other women will be able to look at that within themselves.